Here's a problem. The computer is starting and it's trying to boot from a virtual hard drive, but I receive this message instead. Recovery, your PC device needs to be repaired. The boot configuration data file doesn't contain valid information for an operating system. Okay, so Windows should run from a virtual hard drive, but it was accidentally deleted or modified, so it cannot boot anymore. And there are no virtual hard drives to boot from. I can press any key, but it won't help. So instead, to add those virtual hard drives back in the operating system selection menu, I will boot the computer from a Windows 8.1 DVD. Insert that DVD in the drive. Press the reset button to restart the computer. Okay, and now I will press F11 on the keyboard. F11, boot selection pop-up menu has been selected. Now from this menu I can choose where to start the computer from and I will choose the first one to boot the computer from the CD DVD drive. Now press any key to boot from the CD is shown. So press anything on the keyboard. The computer starts from the Windows 8.1 DVD. Okay, on this screen, let's press Shift plus F10, Shift and F10, and the command prompt window appears, this one, and let's type in Notepad, Notepad, and press Enter. I will use Notepad as a file explorer, so let's go to File and Open, I'm not opening anything, but let's go to this PC and take a look at the available hard drives. So I have an SSD drive which is the C drive and on that one I have two virtual hard drives. To see those let's go down here to text document and set it to all files. So choose all files here at file types and here we have the two virtual hard drives and let's attach Windows 8.1 for example. So that one is on the C drive. Okay so Let's type disk part and press enter. After this part starts, then let's select that virtual hard drive. So type in select v disk c column slash the file name of that virtual hard drive, which in this case was win81.vhd. Oops, select v disk file equal and the path of that virtual hard drive. Press enter. It was successfully selected. Now attach the disk. Attach the disk. Press enter. Okay, it's attached. Now let's go back to this notepad window. Go to this PC and here we have Windows 8.1 VHD. That's the label of that partition. I named it that way. So that partition will be added to the operating system selection menu and that one is drive G. So let's exit from this part, type exit. Okay, and let's go to drive G, this one which is the virtual hard drive. So type G and column here and press enter. And let's enter the Windows directory, CD Windows. Okay, and type bcd boot, bcd boot, and g column, and backslash windows. Okay, boot file successfully created, so that means that the virtual hard drive, which is drive g in this case, this one was added into the operating system selection menu. This virtual hard drive is stored on this partition and this is that file. Okay, and the content of this one was visible here. Now you can close down these programs, close this one also and click yes to restart the computer. And now the virtual hard drive should be added to that menu and the computer should start from that one instead of displaying the error message. This is the BIOS, the cursor, and Windows is starting. So we just added a virtual hard drive to a 
to the operating system selection menu and Windows is started okay we can further add another one let's restart the computer press F11 on the keyboard again and it will show that message boot selection pop-up menu has been selected okay boot from the CD once more the Windows 8.1 CD, DVD, press any key to boot from there and wait until Windows installation kit starts. Okay, on this screen press Shift plus F10, Shift F10 again, that brings up the command prompt. Let's type in notepad and go to file, open this PC and let's see where is our drive, is the C drive, that's where my windows virtual hard drive is stored so this one was added let's add that one it's on the c drive and win 10 that vhd okay so let's start the disk part to add that virtual hard drive okay select v disk file equal c drive column backslash win10.vhd press enter it was selected now attach the disk it was attached okay and now let's exit from this part type exit let's go here to notepad's window the explorer one this pc and now windows 10 is mounted to drive g so let's go back to command prompt let's go to g g column so we are on the g drive and type in b c d boot the g drive g column backslash and windows and press enter boot file successfully created okay so windows 10 virtual hard drive was also added to the operating system selection menu close down these windows all of them that restarts the entire computer let's get out the CD because it's making a lot of noise so the computer is starting up the BIOS screen and now a menu should appear from where we could choose which operating systems to select and voila so we added two operating systems using the Windows 8.1 DVD first I added this one Windows 8.1 which is running from a virtual hard drive and then I added Windows 10 which is also running from a virtual hard drive icons are not identical but let's try this one the newly added one and voila it's working you can try the other one also restart the computer is restarting BIOS is loading once more the operating system selection menu is loading which is, this is much slower than the old one i don't really like it now let's try windows 8.1 the computer restarts that's why i don't like this new boot menu the old one was much faster that one loaded the selected operating system as you press enter this one waits and then restarts okay now windows 8.1 should start and there we have it this one is 8.1 okay that's how to add another virtual hard drive to the operating system selection menu thanks for watching and bye bye